one of the biggest updates we have seen in WordPress history. After a long wait, WordPress has finally released a version with the new feature, full site editing. So what does this mean for page builders, for web developers, for the future of WordPress? I got you covered. We're going to go through all of this in the video. Now it's still early days with full site editing and we're going to continue to see new updates, but I am so excited. So if you're as excited as I am about full site editing and the direction that WordPress is going in, hit the like button below. Now, just to clarify, I'm not going to be going through the editor step by step in this video, but I am going to be talking about some of the really cool features and some of the stuff that we can expect. So if you're interested in that, Stick with me. Now, I also want to say, do not feel pressured to feel like you have to learn all the things about full site editing right now. It's a great way to stay in the loop and be aware of what's happening, but just know this, the old WordPress isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Most sites are still going to be using the themes and the builders that we are all used to. So there's not a huge rush, but if you are interested and you want to learn a little bit more, Let's get to the good stuff. So if you're not familiar with full site editing, what it does is it allows you to build an entire website from scratch using blocks. It gives you full access to all parts of the site, the header, the footer, the menu, the navigation, the templates, even global styles. All of that can now be changed within the editor. So let's break it down and talk about some specific features. We'll start with blocks, block patterns, and reusable blocks. So if you're familiar with Gutenberg or any other block builder, you're probably already aware of blocks. We have loads of blocks to choose from, from headings and paragraphs to images and even videos and posts. So what's changed with full site editing is now we can use those blocks to build global elements. For example, your header or your footer. So there's a couple cool features worth talking about. The first is block patterns. So under patterns, you can find pre-built sections that can be edited and tweaked to your needs. It makes it super easier to build more complicated designs and you can reuse them. The second block feature is a reusable block. So you can save sections as a reusable block if you want to use them on other places on the site. A good example of this would be a call to action section. A couple things to keep in mind with block patterns, they can be reused, but you can edit and change them individually and they won't affect the others. Whereas with reusable blocks, that is a global element. So if you change one, it will change all of them. Okay, let's talk about templates. Now with full site editing, templates are easily accessible and you can change them and edit them with blocks. So you can build things like your 404 page and single posts and archive pages all using blocks and you never have to go into your PHP files. Okay, next let's talk about global styles. Another really cool feature, you can customize blocks globally from the styles editor. This is super handy for things like buttons. So you don't have to edit them individually when you add it to a new page. Now, on the other hand, we have lost the customizer and the menu tabs with full site editing. Now, most of those things that we can edit within the editor. However, because we lost the customizer, adding custom CSS is a little tricky right now. Now, that being said, for now, you can still reach the customizer if you want through this URL here. Now there are other ways to make custom CSS changes. You could do that through the style.css file or using a plugin like simple CSS. So those are the main features I wanted to cover in reference to full site editing. Now let me know in the comments below, which of those features are you most excited about? Okay, let's get real for a minute. Does this mean death to page builders? No, it does not. Now, like I said before, full site editing is brand new. It is still super early days. Yes, it is very promising and exciting, but it's still new. Page builders still offer more flexibility and a lot of page builders are really well established. Now, even when full site editing is more developed, I don't think page builders are ever going to go away. 
Obviously, people have their preference when it comes to page builders and block editors and all of the new features coming out with WordPress. There's a lot of pros and cons with both ways. Now, it's not a secret that I am a big fan of WordPress core. I like to follow where WordPress is going and to teach those skills to my students. Now, that being said, I also appreciate the flexibility and the ease that comes along with page builders. At the end of the day, it 100% depends on the project and your personal preference. So don't worry if you've spent lots of time learning a specific page builder or all the page builders, all of that knowledge and experience absolutely comes in handy. But what does this mean for web developers? Now, contrary to what you might be hearing, full site editing is actually really, really exciting for web developers. No, this is absolutely not the end for web developers. And it's also not the end of people needing our services as web developers. Full site editing brings a simpler and easier way to build websites from scratch. But it's not like this option wasn't always available with third party plugins like Elementor and Divi that could have been done. So it's exciting that we'll have this flexibility within WordPress core. And no, I do not think it will change the need for developers or for people who know how to code. Knowing how to code will always be valuable and help you stand out from the crowd. Knowing how to code makes it so much easier to troubleshoot and problem solve. And you will also really understand how a website is put together so you can fix all those things that might come up when a site breaks or it needs some extra functionality or something really super custom. There are lots of options for folks to DIY their own website. And these options have always existed. However, they still choose not to for several reasons. Their time is probably better spent doing something else than wrangling and arguing and fighting with their website. Yes, they can probably do it, but probably not as well as a developer. There is more to managing a website than just putting it together, designing it and putting it online. And a lot of people don't want to have to deal with all that extra back end stuff. If anything, full site editing makes theme development more accessible to new developers and new coders. So if you want to play around with full site editing and see what it's like, try it out, give it a whirl, see if it's something you want to learn more about. There are a number of really good free themes you can try. This year's WordPress built in theme 2022 is a full site editing theme. So give it a whirl, see what you think. Or I highly recommend you check out the full site editing theme Frost. It is beautiful. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please subscribe to the channel. We get weekly YouTube videos pushed out every Wednesday and click that little bell so you get a notification when it comes out.